Hey there, this is John Anthony Francis Wilcox, and these are six fantastic songs from September 1964. As always, the song links are in the comments section below. So, some things for you to know beforehand. These are from this same week in 1964, the week of September the 16th. But also, so you know, these are from the British charts. Slightly different, but only slightly. So, are you all set? Grab your cup of tea and give it a listen. Song number one, You Really Got Me by The Kinks. You know, how do you not know this song? If there's someone on earth that doesn't know this song, what's going on? Um, there are people that refer to it as the first metal riff. I don't know, but it could be, you know, I could see that. Um, Ray and Dave Davies and friends and company, the, the battling Davies brothers bring us a really big song. This is a very significant song as far as rock and roll goes. It, it, it really is. So, and it is song number one. You Really Got Me by the Kinks. Song number two is The Girl from Ipanema by Stan Getz and Joao Gilberto. Um, bit of a contrast from the Kinks. It shows you the joys, by the way, of the British charts. They're very, they're quite varied. Um, I love this song, and it's... Dun, 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 dun. But I have to admit, I always think of the Mad Magazine when I was a kid that did this horrible rewriting of the lyrics. It was short and fat and bald and ugly. The guy from Jersey City is loaded always it's stuck in my head since I was a kid um, it's a great song you know this one not, not everyone knows I, I think you might have heard it in the background on something you know but uh, it is worth giving a listen to so please do song number two the girl from Ipanema by Stan Getz and Joao Gilberto song number three is do a diddy diddy from Manfred Mann. You know, a lot of people, this is like an age gauge. There are a lot of people that when they think of Manfred Mann, they think of Manfred Mann's Earth Band with Blinded by the Light, usually. Um, but uh, things were different, you know. do a diddy diddy great, great piece of rock and roll. Also known, of course, for Mighty Quinn, Mighty Quinn, the the their cover of the Bob Dylan song. Um, Manfred Mann, one of the greats, one of the legends in rock and roll history. And do a diddy diddy, uh, wonderful piece, you know. There she was just a walking down the street singing do a diddy diddy dum diddy dum. Please, it's great. Song number three, do a diddy diddy from Manfred Mann. Song number four, She's not there from the zombies. And um, a beautiful song it is. Isn't it uh, Common Blundstone on vocals? Yes. And of course, a version of the zombies would morph into Argent. Because Rod Argent, the keyboard player, was in both. And he kind of carried on. And um, I remember when I saw the zombies live... They also did a few Argent things, you know, kind of went back and forth. But uh, She's Not There is a, just a wonderful piece of pop. Really solid, super, super solid. Um, I love the percussion in it. And, and Argent's keyboards, of course. Song number four, She's Not There from The Zombies. Song number five, I'm Into Something Good. From Herman's Hermits. Uh, another band, they had like, you know, I remember listening to 
my brother's greatest hits package from them. And it was just packed, you know. Uh, wonderful stuff. Peter Noon's voice, very distinctive. You know, he was one of those that uh, kept his accent when he sang. No mistaking him for anyone else. And uh, Herman's Hermits, just a great pop rock band. Um, you know, during that British invasion time. And that is song number five. I'm into something good from Herman's Hermits. And we finish with song number six, a little number called A Hard Day's Night by, I'm trying to think of the name of the band. Oh yeah, The Beatles. How could I have 1964 and not have The Beatles in it? The answer is you can't. By law, you're not allowed. So the interesting thing though is this particular week of September uh, the 16th through the, you know, the 22nd of 1964, this was the only Beatles song in the top 50. A rarity, I assure you. But uh, obviously, uh, a, a Ringoism, Hard Day's Night. Uh, wonderful, it's mostly a John song with some Paul in there and that great do 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 in there um by the guy he's working hard he's working like a dog and he he loves his woman as he ought to and you know the title of the wonderful the first Beatle film a uh, huge piece of cinematic history and uh, again catching catching the lightning in a bottle that was Beatlemania um, and Hard Day's Night no matter who did it this is just a solid solid amazing song great piece of again a pop rock um, harmonies everything about it energy you know what I'll use this word it even has panache. If you listen, there's some panache around like the middle, middle eight. Uh, when I'm home, please. Mercy. What a great song. It is song number six, A Hard Day's Night by the Beatles. And these have been six fantastic songs from September 1964. Give them all a look. Give them all a listen. Let me know what you think. I love you. I'll see you the next time. Bye-bye.